Socrates was the famous Greek philosopher who claimed that he didn't know anything, but he was the midwife of wisdom. So meaning that by talking to him, wisdom arose in the person that he was talking to. So Socrates, us, the idea is that the problems of the world now are very, very complex, very wicked. They cannot be solved by individuals. They can only be addressed by collectives. And so there's a need for collective wisdom. So Socrates' hypothesis is that we can help uh, evoke the collective wisdom in others. I'm Rajesh Kasri Rangan. I'm one of the founders of Socrates, which is one of the organizations um, hosting this wonderful workshop on farmer, farmer incomes. I'm a mathematician and a cognitive scientist by training and I would say a philosopher by inclination. My name is Ananta Padmanabhan. Uh, I'm called Anant. Uh, I am one of the founders of this initiative called Socrates. I've done many things in my life. I've uh, been a school teacher. I've been the head of uh, international uh, organizations. I've uh, set up and run a, a philanthropic foundation. So I've done many things. Now I'm very interested in helping uh, people solve problems together. Agrarian crisis, agrarian distress uh, has been uh, in the uh, forefront of you know, consciousness in India for possibly 10, 15 years now. Farmers are killing themselves in very large numbers. There's a real destitution in the countryside. On the other side, you can also see there's real prosperity in the country as well. So something was going wrong. So it seemed like an ideal thing to uh, get people around. The different toolkits that are required to solve any problem, to create that collective wisdom, uh, exist in the world. They just need to be midwifed. Everything in this workshop is designed around that idea. I do think that the method that we are bringing to bear is very much a collaboration with our partner, Fields of View, who's our, you could say, our process partner. But then we also have content partners, Asha and BKS. The mix has grown organically from our engagement with our partners. So the idea was that Asha, Kavita and Kiran had a wide network of civil society organizations. And uh, uh, Bharat Krishak Samaj, Ajay, had a wide network of uh, other kind of actors in the agricultural ecosystem. So could they come together to convene the group? So that was the starting point. My name is Kavita Kuruganti. I'm one of the national conveners of a large advocacy platform around farmers' rights called Alliance for Sustainable and Holistic Agriculture, Asha. Asha uh, works on uh, securing sustainable farm livelihoods in India and it basically believes that uh, without bringing in environmental sustainability into agriculture, we would not be able to sustain farm livelihoods. I jumped at the chance of uh, Socrates and its team because agriculture is an extremely complex subject. No simplistic silver bullets are going to work. We realized that a convener is uh, extremely critical and uh, in my world uh, one of my friends and acquaintances uh, someone called Ajayvir Jhakad of uh, Bharat Krishak Samaj he uh, has a network where he can bring another set of people and BKS immediately owned up the idea and we said can you be the host of organizing uh, such a collaborative workshop. I'm Ajay Jhakad and uh, I work with Bharat Krishak Samaj a farmers organization based out of Delhi uh, Bharat Krishak Samaj was formed in 1955, much before I was born. And we work advocating policies to improve livelihoods of those dependent on agriculture, basically in layman's language, farmers. Fields of View also has a lot of expertise in policy making uh, through innovative tools that, that allow for good visceral experience and so on. Um, they also came into the picture. Hi, I'm Bharat. Uh, I'm from Fields of View in Bangalore. What we do is uh, create tools to improve uh, public policy. Uh, these tools are often in the form of games and simulation. Standard formats, for example, allow lots of space for people to uh, present their views. Uh, but in a workshop like this, what becomes critical is how do you get people to engage with each other? My name is Shruti and uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Fields of View. I'm a researcher there. So when Socrates came to us and said that, OK, look, we want to actually think about how to bring diverse people together and facilitate these difficult dialogues, we were thrilled. So this collaboration start was that, to say, OK, both of us are interested in wicked problems. We have the tools. You have the space to bring in all of these diverse sets of people together. 
can we make this happen? It becomes important to set a context where it is not about uh, uh, aggressively debating each other's points of view, but about understanding the merits and the value of that point of view. And that's where we, uh, we uh, bring in uh, games, because they create that safe space. They allow for each of us to experiment, each of us then to also understand why the other person's uh, perspective is important. We are here at the beginning of the fourth day of the workshop, but the past three days do tell us that the first critical step is to bring uh, people in willingly into a room with a certain preparedness in their minds to talk to people that they have not always engaged with. I mean, I would think that a truly Socratic method is for everybody. This event is for a very small group of people, but we would definitely want the outcomes of something like this be uh, directly available and understandable to anybody. To begin with, uh, we were told that it helps to have a small set of people and not a large crowd. So we limited uh, the number of participants to uh, 20. Uh, I think so most important uh, issue in uh, policy deliberations in India is that people who do not agree with each other normally don't meet with each other. And so this workshop not only bridges that gap of getting people who would be disagreeing on many, many issues to come and sit and, and, and talk about it in a very uh, cordial atmosphere and to build that trust and to build uh, uh, an atmosphere where good decisions could come out where all, all issues could be deliberated. The process that was employed by Socrates and Fields of View was a very uh, nice uh, process and it, and it helped achieve most of our objectives. At one level, Socrates feels like a pretty outlandish idea, right? That somehow wisdom in a collective can be evoked. And, and how would you measure that? I mean, the part of me that is a mathematician says, you know, there's no meter that measures wisdom. So what is the criteria of success and how do we uh, find out if we are making a difference at all or not? And it's only through doing these events that we will find out, and maybe not even in the overt success or failure of these events, which both of which will definitely happen, but in some um, subtle elements that we will have to evoke, again, through careful conversation with our partners that we'll find out if we are actually you know, moving the needle in a good way or not. And, and that is the most important uh, reason for to do this, right? Ultimately, if you don't change the world in a way that you think the world should change, um, we are not doing the right thing. We see ourselves as in three stages. So there's the space, like a wicked sprint, like what we have done this week, if you string a bunch of them and intersperse them with other activities, so it could be prototyping interventions, it could be uh, data collection, we call that a flow, right? And so an agriculture or a farm income flow would be several events like this, but also perhaps something more hands-on, uh, uh, more design-oriented events. They could also be uh, pedagogical events, so courses and other uh, uh, spaces in which people are being taught. So collectively we call that a flow and our goal is that through that kind of more continuous engagement we become a hub for insights on this particular topic, of obviously working with partners. So with luck there will be sufficient interest in, in actions beyond it and also the need to continue to converse. Right? So if you create a body of work on a particular topic it's early days, we hope we will be able to. So, so that's what we call a flow, a flow of work on a particular topic. So in a few years time, we hope to have, you know, done a lot of spaces, created flows on three or four important topics like the ones I said, and uh, would have captured those learnings and so on for other people to use, you know, sort of an academy if you like, be able to offer some courses, that's the direction for Socrates.